Hey guys, it's Colorful Artie back for more Paper Mario. We're in the flower fields now. You wanna meet Petunia? That flower seems a little strange to me, you know. She collects beans and seeds, but she never grows them. She just likes seeds. I call her the Seed Maniac. And then there's this guy. Who reminds me, in terms of appearance, very much like a guy I've actually met in real life. Hey guy, where are you going? Oh, Petunia? Yeah, Petunia's straight west from here. Yep, west. <laughs> Sorry guy, can't tell you anymore, not even if you ask. It's a Toei lip. He definitely knows a lot about the flower fields. Unfortunately, he's a liar. You can figure out his riddles, can't you, Mario? Yeah, everything he tells you is like a complete lie. So just do the opposite of what he says. Hey, Superstar, let me fill you in on something. You can get yourself one fine gift if you hit the three trees in a row in this order. Left, right, then middle. Yep, so you actually want to do it middle, right, left. <laughs> it's true, I swear. Oops, I've told you too much. No more secrets out of me. Alright. So we want to head due east. Oh boy, the enemies in here are fun. This is a Crazy Daisy. Crazy Daisies look cute, but that you won't think so. They're so cute after they attack you. Max HP 8, attack power 4, defense power 0. They attack by singing a psalm. If you fall under the psalm's spell, you'll fall asleep. If you get their HP low enough, they'll try to run away. Beat them quickly so they can't flee. Take that. This is really hard to defend against. Like, really hard. A. No, A. Well, I didn't fall asleep, so that's nice. The enemies in the flower fields are just rather annoying. Goodbye, Crazy Daisy. Also, if you walk up to these... They can sometimes drop stinky herbs. Herbs smells kinda bad. Restores 5 FP. A lot of the recipes, like, you can use stinky herbs instead of the, um... Whoa. Instead of the strange leaf. So, like, the boiled egg or the healthy juice. These guys are interesting. This is a bzap! Zaps are monstrous bees. Max HP 3, attack power 6, defense power 0. If they sting you, sometimes you'll be poisoned. They also occasionally call a swarm of small bees to attack you in a cloud. Be careful of those little attackers, because you'll sometimes shrink when stunned. I actually never knew that. They don't have a lot of HP, so take care of them as quick as you can. They're kind of, they're kind of like the bullet bills of the area. No, not items. Yeah, I don't like bees in real life. I also am not a big fan of the enemies in Paper Mario. Oh, they give you decent EXP. I'm sorry, star points. So these are the free trees that Toei Lip was talking about. So, middle, right, left. And we get the Happy Flower Badge! Restores FP automatically during the battle at a slow rate. If you hit any of the trees out of order, a bazap will come out of them, so watch out for that. Oh boy. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these Mati Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of these Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are... This guy. And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. This guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. <laughs> Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. Monty Moles are back. And they are nastier than they were before. Much nastier.
They've got a lot of HP, as you can see. And their rocks hurt a lot. This is a Monty Mole. You remember Monty Moles from Mount Rugged, don't you? Max HP 12, attack power 3, defense power 0. They're vicious rock throwers. They may look intimidating, but they're not very strong. They're called the same thing as the ones on Mount Rugged, so I kind of tend to refer to these as Monty Moles, and then the other ones as Mount Rugged Moles. You also notice that with damage, the two, the two damage dodges on, I don't take very much damage if I can get the action command correct. Take that. I love the Ultra Hammer. Oh, I forgot. I hope we have room in our item inventory. Oh yeah, a lot. Cool. Because there are berries in these, these trees, so we get the red berry first. I can point rain around the rosy as long as you can. Oh play. Let's power bomb him. Woohoo! And power quake. <laughs> and that makes quick work of them. Eats a lot of FP, but it makes quick work of them. They're all yours, Bombat. <laughs> oh, that's such great fun. Oh, yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo! Wee! You got rid of the Monty Moles! Oh, thank you, thank you. To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. We get the magical bean! A bean, it's twitching as if to say, plant me this instant! Hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. Hee <laughs> hee! Nice to meet you! By the way, about that magical bean that I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom! After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about the seeds growing out of that cute little seed. No! Interesting take on that. This flower is named Petunia. She's obsessed with seeds. She's pretty talkative. She says she doesn't do anything with the seeds, she just collects them. Collecting seeds? Talk about a boring hobby, don't you think so, Mario? To each their own, Goombario. Let's be nice. Alright, so I'm actually going to leave Flower Fields briefly. You have to talk to him in order to go back to Toe Town, and you have to move down to go back to Toe Town in order to go back, otherwise you talk to him. It's like the owl from Ocarina of Time. Oh, there's- yeah, that's right, there's Colorado. What ho, lewd boy! Ahead is Pleasant Path, but Kent C. Koopa is blocking it. It appears he's quite strong. I say, a strong brute indeed. This is a bit of a sticky wicket. There's not I can do. The only course of action is for me to search for a secret passage to Koopa Village. That's right. Okay, optional boss time. But first I'm gonna go to sleep to get my stats back up. If you don't know how to beat this guy, he's easily one of the toughest bosses in the game. If you do, though, he's quite easy. I'm gonna unequip Power Jump and actually equip Sleep Stomp. Believe it or not. And I kind of want quick change back on, so...
There we go. Alright. Whoa, Big Koopa. Hey, you in the hat. Wait. It's fine weather, isn't it? My name is Kent C. Koopa. Please remember it, okay? If you want to use this road, you need to pay me 100 coins. So sorry, but that's how it is. You don't pay, you don't pass. Coins make the world go round. It's all about the money. And yeah, we're gonna fight you, you extortionist. You want to fight? You're nuts. Look at me. I'll cream you. Because, to be frank, I'm very, very, very strong. Are you sure you want to fight? Yeah. Well, I have no choice. I warned you, though. This may hurt a little bit. This is Kent C. Koopa. He seems pretty greedy for such a large Koopa. Max HP 70, attack power 10, defense power 6. Yeah! He looks horrible, doesn't he? He sometimes does a stamp attack with his shell. That attack has a power of 3. His shell attack also damages party members like me, so be sure to defend. As with all Koopas, your chances will greatly improve if you can flip him over. His defense power will drop. Watch it, though. He'll attack as soon as he's back on his feet. And by the way, he is this... Is he not the hugest Koopa ever? Somebody told me he used to live in Koopa Village. That's not good. So Kensi Goop is very tough, however he has a weakness. He's, it's very easy to put him to sleep. And he tends to stay asleep for a long time. Let's do some charging. And Watt's very useful for piercing his defense. So now he's awake, so now we'll use Lullaby. Sleepy Sheep are also very useful, but I use them all. So yeah, good luck beating this guy without constantly putting him to sleep. Although admittedly doing so, it does make you feel super awesome. Alright, let's try a power bounce. Darn it! That was a terrible power bounce. He is really susceptible to sleep. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I only get quite a few star points for that. Time to level up our flowers for the flower fields. Wow, you must be really strong. I mean, beating a guy my size? I guess I have to give up. See you later. <laughs> yeah, in your face. Alright. Looks like Colorado's left. I think I'll equip Spin Attack for now. I'm basically going to scour this pathway to see if there are any hidden panels I may have missed. Oh boy. So there's that one. Then I think there's one up ahead here as well. Yep. 
thought so. I don't think there are any others up ahead. But at least we can go down to Koopa Village now. Oh, Mario! My husband came home! He sits around the house and reads books all about treasures out there waiting. It's so nice to have him home, I can't even tell you. Whew, my husband, what a difficult man. But I'd still love him. Ah. Well, I'm back in the village. It's rather nice, eh, old boy? Adventure's all well and good, but one's home is really tops. So stay here for a change! I've had just about enough of you sitting around worrying and waiting for your return. Hmm? Ah, yes, of course, well... Ahem. Psst! To tell you the truth, old bean, I'm itching to search for the lost palace in the north. But tut-tut, mum's the word as far as the wife's concerned. Stay in the village, dude. Happy wife, happy life. Alright. Oh, wait. That reminds me. Goomba Road. Haven't checked there yet. For hidden panels. There we go. Boom. All right. I think it's time we do another boss fight. All right. We don't need spin attack anymore. You know what? I'm just going to unequip like all the stuff that I don't need for this fight. Could do pretty lucky, uh... Zap tap, maybe? Nah, quick change, just in case. Oh man. Speedy spin is just so nice. I better save before doing this. Ooh, I can't stand not having speedy spin. We're going back to the dojo. There's another fight we can do. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah, we got stuff. Cool. <clears throat> Mario, welcome to our dojo. Very well, Mario. I will fight you again. I will not go easy on you this time, however. You must concentrate fully if you hope to complete. If you hope to compete. battle. <laughs> and yeah, he's basically a genie now. Mario, you will fall. Eh, bold words. This is the master. He owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. Max HP 75, attack power 8, defense power 0. He knows both normal and advanced, advanced methods of attack. You'd better concentrate, Mario. This guy doesn't mess around at all. Hey. Whew. He does a lot of damage, though. Hey. This is why I saved beforehand, because there's a chance he could actually kill me. Ooh, forgot about that move. I better heal. I'll show off Smooch.
you go, Mario. I forgot he has the multi-punch move. Hey. Hey. Alright. One more charger piece, I think? Alright. Let's roll. Hmm, nice maneuver. <laughs> I took out almost all his HP. <laughs> Goodbye, Master. <laughs> I didn't even have to use any items. See how broken power bounce and jump charge are? Hmm, that was a solid fight. <laughs> Very well, I will give you this. We get the fourth degree card. You are welcome to train with us anytime. Thanks. Ah, Speedy Spin. Glad to have you back. Oh, I will get you, Mega Quake. You're my precious. But I just wanted damage dodge two more. Alright, enough with the side quests. Let's go back to Flower Fields. But first, we're gonna cook one recipe. Just one. Actually, only one. Actually, yeah, only one. Right now. Because I'm not sure if the mystery actually counted for the big cookie. Dried fruit. And a red berry. Oh, I'm so sorry. It didn't work out! What? How dare you. Could've made a big cookie. I thought that was supposed to give me a sleepy sheep. Oh well. I'll have to look more into that later. In the meantime... Let's try going this way. Nope. Let's try going this way. There we go. Since it's called Flower Fields, you know there has to be a lot of flowers around here, but there are also a few trees. It's a red flower that guards the gate. Red is a passionate color. Goombaria knows a lot about the subtle languages of flowers and colors. She talks and talks and talks until I can't take it anymore! As a result, I've learned a lot of what she knows. Hello, stranger! What do you think of my bright light red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? Ha ha ha! No, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although, perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. How about a red berry? Munch chop smack. Oh, delicious! This is it! Great color! Full flavor! It's perfect! You're the champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through. Each flower wants their color of berry. Uh, fun. This is a rough puff. Rough puffs are nasty little cloud henchmen of Huff and Puff. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. How rough puffs float in the air, so a jump attack or something similar may be best. Of course, I'd more be more than happy to give him a head bonk. 
It's your call, Mario. Yeah, it is. Oh, heck no. I just realized I totally did not need to use a power jump there. I gotta use my Thunder Rage at some point. Alright, the rough puffs. Chubby cheeks. Mario's like, oh please, it was nothing. Yellow berry. Yeah, I'll pick up two yellow berries. Move off of it, Gumbario. Look at this crystal tree! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Hmm? What's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose! Oh, how rude! Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it! Hee <laughs> hee! Your nose is pretty nice, too. It could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? We get the fertile soil! Absolutely pollutant-free! This smells like very good soil. Your nose will be perfect soon! Hee hee hee! She's Posy, a lily. She looks generous and kind, doesn't she? Of course, sometimes the kindest looking characters turn into the scariest when you make them mad. Ouch! Be gentle with this tree! The tree and I are connected at the roots, so it hurts me when you hit the tree. Oh, sorry. And she did just give me a free gift, so, I mean, it's kind of a jerk move to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's head down this way. Hey, dude. Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. I must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in food, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? Have a yellow berry. I have a feeling you're gonna like it. <laughs> Bravo! Magnificent! A sweet, subtle flavor with a delicious finish. I'm sorry, a delicate finish. And such marvelous coloring, it reminds me of the warm sunlight I yearn for. I'm truly taken aback by your culture and taste. Of course you may go. Sweet. Well, this is less sweet. We got thorns in the way. Hey, Paracary. Thank you, Paracarry. Actually, you know what? I haven't shown off Bow at Ultra Rank yet, have I? Just the one. Okay, so... She's got Smack, Out of Sight, Spookin' and Fan Smack, where she attacks an enemy with a fan. Does it for five smacks as opposed to six, but each smack deals two damage, so that's pretty nice. Stupid flower! <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Should have saved my Thunder Rage. Well, I'll take out the bees first. Six smacks now. Really? Amazing Daisies like don't run away very frequently in this, I guess. Whoa! That is hard to do. Am 
Money, money, money. All right. So we could go up here and get the Ultra Block, but I'm actually going to save that because we do get a new party member in here. Also, there's a star piece in the bushes. All right, dizzy dial in there. Also, you notice there are docks, but no water. Kind of interesting. Also, an invisible block. And we get maple syrup. Also, I might as well eat my mistake right now. Oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible thing that rides in the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from my magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Oh! Oh, I just realized Lily's face looks exactly like Kirby's. Like, exactly. A prince? Well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. Um, to tell you the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Yeah, sure. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. That's literally Kirby's face. <laughs> The water stone looks just like this. I know you can't see it, but it's there. Please find it! That's Lily. She says she's guarding the spring. I get the sense that she's easily distracted. She's off in her own little world a lot of the time. It's probably a problem if you want to get any information from her. She seems to drift off even while you're talking to her. Thanks, Lily. Lily Potter. Alright, make sure you hit this tree over here. Because you get another jam and jelly from it! And it's not every day you get jam and jelly. And I actually kind of like the dreary music in the flower... Uh, the, the flower fields, yep. The flower fields. Once the sun returns, it gets, like, a new theme that I do not like as much. Come on, Paracary! I just realized I never hit the tree I had to hit over here. Whoa, I've been recording for almost 40 minutes? Crazy! Well, we better save and quit after we get these berries. Yep, two blueberries. Oh, I can't hold anymore. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't need the stinky herb then. I said I don't need the stinky herb then. I do actually want two blueberries, so I'll get rid of the yellow berry. We need one blueberry to progress forward, and then we need another one to get a special item in here. And by that I mean a badge. Alright, we're gonna end the episode off there. Thanks for watching, I'm Color40, tune in for the next time. We're gonna go further into flower fields, maybe get a new partner. Have a great day, and God bless! Thank you.